Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. It's time for this week's Steam Series, and tonight's focus, engineering. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom shows us how gingerbread creations could help build real-world problem-solving skills. A soccer field filled with gingerbread players, a monster truck garage built by a four-year-old, a zoo for exotic animals made from gumdrops and taffy. All among the entries in a science of gingerbread contest. There is definitely a science to gingerbread house making. Cindy Giovanni is lead educator at Discovery Cube in Santa Ana. While cookie and candy creations might seem trivial, she says they can trigger valuable real world learning. There's actually a lot of things to think about when you're building a gingerbread creation. For instance, if it's a house you're building, how will the walls hold together? Working with interlocking pieces is one option. Another? Thick, sticky icing is uh, definitely a good thing. If you want that house to stand as you decorate, you also have to think about weight. If you put too much stuff on top, it might be too heavy and it could fall apart. Of all the STEAM disciplines, gingerbread building relies most on engineering. The first thing we have to do is identify a problem or come up with an idea that we want to see created. Next, you have to come up with a plan. The design process. Come up with all kinds of ideas. Some of them might work and some of them might not, but that's where the creating and the testing it out comes in. While you might aspire to an elaborate Dr. Seuss-like creation, smaller cottages could be more feasible. Depending on what you're building, you might have to do some testing and reconfiguring. It could involve putting extra things on like candy or maybe some extra frosting, but it could also mean taking things away that might not be working very well. Cindy says the engineering skills exercise to build gingerbread villages can help improve problem solving skills overall. One example? I had a student uh, complaining that she had trouble sleeping. Fellow students deliberated. And we troubleshot her problem by using the engineering process and they were able to think about it really thoughtfully and come up with some ideas to help each other out. Back to the problem at hand. Lesson learned from Cindy's own gingerbread trial. I discovered it's always better to do this with a partner because I only have two hands. And whether working alone or in a team, if you want to be a winner, you have to do the last step and that is to improve it, make it better.